Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Racine back from CNH Small Engine again for another informative uh, video. The video right now got deals with a different topic besides small engine rifles. Uh, it's uh, computer repairs and uh, updates and upgrades for your computer. I got a uh, 2006 uh, Gateway computer recently. My hard drive was giving me problems. I had a uh, Western Digital Velociraptor that ran from about 2010 on my old one, and my bet my computer is basically on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year out of the, uh, the whole season. And um, I had a uh, Western Digital Raptor installed back in 2010, and it was starting to give me some problems uh, this past uh, week. And I ran some uh, tests on it. It was telling me I had some bad sectors, and there were some errors on the sectors on there as well. So I went ahead and uh, upgraded uh, my drive, and in the front of me I have the original drives pulled out of here. Uh, this is the one from 2010. I updated it to the uh, 2013 version. It's basically the same size. Uh, the one I took out of here was uh, a 450 gigabyte one, and the one I installed is a 500 gigabyte one because they don't they don't make replacements anymore for the the 450 gigabyte one. And uh, this one's basically a uh, 10,000 RPM, and it had a 16 uh, gigabyte cache uh, memory for it as well on here. And the new one that I installed is a 500 uh, gigabyte. It's basically the same size as this one. It also has uh, Western Digital's advanced formatting on it as well, which means uh, apparently they upgraded the way they format the hard drive in there to make it more efficient and run better for newer uh, computers out there for like high-end equipment and stuff like that if you're video editing or photo editing or some type of a high-end uh, user for your machines and these things basically help any entry-level system go a lot quicker in terms of um, accessing your files and data on your hard drive and stuff like that and it's a um, definitely recommended upgrade if you're looking to upgrade your hard drive and stuff like that on your computer because it'll definitely give you a, a speed boost it'll help your Windows boot up a lot quicker and sooner and you'll access your files and your hard drive really quickly too because basically I stuck one of these on my dad's old uh, 2002 um, computer and basically loaded Windows XP service pack 3 in about 10-15 minutes on there where the other hard drive took about 25-30 minutes so basically it doubled the time of actually loading a software on our plus the applications open a lot quicker as well too on there. Uh, there's one thing I have to tell you. The, um, uh, the problem I ran into with mine is uh, I was originally upgrading from this one right here. It's a 2010 model. It's the 45, the, the 4500 LHX, the 450 gigabyte one. And I upgraded the quantity in my gateway to the 500 uh, gigabyte one that has the new formatting, the advanced format software on the uh, hard drive itself on here. And I ran into a problem because uh, whenever I tried to load Windows directly onto the uh, new hard drive, this is the old one right here, the, the new one basically looks identical to this one, the, the um, hard drive would not take the software, so basically I had to think, how am I going to load this thing on here because I wasted 150 bucks for a new hard drive and it wasn't working. So. I got the old cogs turning in my head here and I found out that uh, I, I can basically clone the hard drive I have right here and basically make a duplicate of it. And I went online and I downloaded some uh, from freeware, shareware from a company and I basically copied all the data that was still good on this one and basically made a, made a clone of this hard drive and installed on a new one that I have on my computer right now that I can't take off because it's, it's running for obvious reasons. So basically what I do is I cloned this drive, installed all the software on this hard drive into the other hard drive, and I booted up, and it seemed to boot up perfectly fine, no problem. Boot up the same speed, didn't have any bugs, glitches, or uh, whatnot on there. However, I found that whenever I tried to uh, use a Windows updater, the Windows updater would not work. And because of that, I did not have... Uh, the proper uh, tools on there and I went and back and went online and uh, downloaded um, uh, a few updates from Windows website directly because uh, I had some files that weren't updated completely and I also went to uh, Intel's website and had to update the BIOS and the wire or the wired internet uh, Ethernet ports and stuff like that on there as well 
and I had to update my video card and a couple other things on here. And the other big thing, the crucial thing to get the um, uh, computer recognized, the Windows updater on there, because I went to Windows update and said the file was not running, it could not be open. So uh, I went to Intel's website and downloaded their utility called Intel Rapid Storage uh, uh, Utility on there. And it's basically because I'm going from a smaller hard drive, like the one in front of me here, to the bigger one that I currently have in the computer right now. Plus, it also has the, uh, the new advanced formatting on the newer hard drive, which is uh, basically relatively new. And my old computer did not have that originally from the factory. It only had like a 300 gigabyte slow ass hard drive in there back in 06. And I upgraded this one. And this one right here has the. Um, original formatting, it does not have the advanced, the new spec uh, formatting they're putting in all the hard drives that are currently in the market right now as of, I think, early 2012. So any hard drive you buy, as far as I know, from early 2012 to now, they have the advanced formatting, so you have to get a computer that's cap or compatible, because most of the time it will be compatible right off the factory showroom floor, so you won't have any issues, but uh, if you have an older computer like mine, I got a 2006, and I ran into that problem trying to load up the operating system because I got my backup disk right here. It's the full uh, Windows Vista Home Premium 64-bit uh, operating system because the computer has a 64-bit uh, hard drive, or not hard drive, the CPU and stuff like that and the motherboard. So it can handle the, uh, the 64-bit as opposed to the 32-bit on the older platforms for like XP and stuff like that. So. If you run into a problem where you're upgrading your older computer with the hard drive from, I say, three or four years ago, and your hard drive, your newer hard drive has the advanced formatting uh, software either built into it or it'll say right on the bottom here, it'll say advanced formatting uh, drive on here. Uh, chances are you may run into that problem either two reasons because the, the hard drive itself or uh, the motherboard's not able to communicate properly with it. That could be another reason too, but that's, that's, that's pretty rare. Or the other problem is it's a software related problem. Like the one I have is I was racking my brain for a couple days here. This thing did not want to work right until I, get the, until I get the drive cloned. I cloned this one and I finally got the Intel rapid storage um, utility installed on it too. So that basically cleared up the problem with the Windows upgrade, uh, automatic upgrade as well. So I'll try to put a link in at the bottom of the uh, page on here so it'll have a, uh, a link to the exact uh, website. It has that upgrade utility plus Intel's uh, own upgrade utility uh, program as well. Basically you go to Intel's uh, website, you go to the Intel upgrade utility and it'll basically check over your entire motherboard, uh, video sign system, check over the, uh, uh, what do I call it? Uh, the, the, uh, it'll, it'll check over all the forever. You'll check your wired, wireless internet, your video card, your motherboard, and your processors to make sure all the things are up to spec, your BIOS, anything else. So there's a, if there's anything out of uh, spec, it'll upgrade it to the newest uh, specification from Intel for your specific uh, hard drive computer out there. So. If anybody has any questions, comments, whatnot, or if you're experiencing a problem like I had, having problems trying to uh, get your computer to run the Windows update after you installed a slightly bigger hard drive that was new, just email me back here and I will try to answer any questions you may have. I'll see you guys.